It's big and chunky, it's gonna be kind of modular in 2019, and it's got a holographic screen. Check out the Red Hydrogen One. This is the first phone made by Red, the company more famous for making some seriously awesome cameras, but we're only curious about one thing. Can you fix it when it breaks? Let's tear it down and find out. How do you get into a phone this uh, rugged? Let's try from the back. Underneath two plastic covers, we find some Phillips screws. Success. To get any further, we need the help from our curved razor blade. Unfortunately, the tight tolerances of the Hydrogen One proved to be too tight for our usual picks, which are less destructive than the blade. Lifting up the rear frame, we find that it's connected to the motherboard by the accessory port connector cable. There's a mid-frame preventing us from getting any further, but after removing the three screws holding it in place, it pops right out. We disconnect the battery and the rest of the cables attached to the motherboard, and after removing a single screw holding it in place, we lift it up and out with both the rear and front facing cameras attached. The Red Hydrogen One features a dual 12.2 megapixel rear camera system, and the front facing camera system is comprised of two 8 megapixel cameras. On the motherboard, we spot 128 gigabytes of universal flash storage and 6 gigabytes of LPDDR4X RAM with the Snapdragon 835 system on chip layered underneath. At the bottom of the phone, we spot another clipped in bracket held in place by a few screws, and once we have that out, the USB C port and speakers can be freed. The battery is thoroughly glued in place, but with the help of some isopropyl alcohol and gentle prying, we get it out. This is a 3.85 volt, 4,510 milliamp hour battery, which is a whole lot more impressive than the iPhone XS Max's 3,179 milliamp hour battery. With all those components removed, we're left with the display, which is unfortunately fused to the mid frame. This is a 5 7 inch QHD display with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 and a pixel density of 515 pixels per inch. Obviously, this is no ordinary display since it's capable of 3D, but how does it display holograms? The Hydrogen One uses diffractive light field backlighting, where it splits the H4V photo or video files into four pieces and redistributes them into four depth planes, sending different images in different spatial directions. So your left and right eye see different images. Unfortunately, to light up four different images with one LCD, each image uses a quarter of the pixels, resulting in each image being perceived at about half the brightness and a quarter of the pixel density, hence the subpar display. So seeing a video of the display working doesn't quite give you the same effect as seeing it in person. With the phone fully disassembled, it's time to talk repairability. The Red Hydrogen One scored a four out of 10. And here's why. On the upside, many components, including the front and rear facing cameras, USB-C port, headphone jack, and speaker are modular. Only standard Phillips screws are used, but the device relies heavily on adhesive. Upgrade attachments that will provide additional storage, battery power, or an upgraded camera are planned, but aren't available at release. And on the downside, entry to the phone requires removing glued on panels with the use of a thin blade, which may cause cosmetic damage. And finally, the display is tightly glued to a large midframe and will require a full phone disassembly to replace, increasing repair costs for this common point of failure. 